Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to recreate this title from a pop cinematic pack. So let's check it out. <laughs> All right, so in DaVinci Resolver now on the Fusion page, and first off, we're gonna bring here in Effect, Effect, Fusion Composition, we're gonna just bring that in our timeline so we can just work in Fusion. So now let's just go over to Fusion, and here we're gonna start with a text node. So we're gonna just bring that in the timeline, link it to our media out, and we're gonna write some text. So for example, here, Modern Cinematic, we're gonna change the font for American captain. We're gonna raise the size a little bit and now I'm gonna go over to shading. Here I'm gonna go down to property, type. I'm gonna change it for gradient. And here we're gonna go down a little bit more and I'm gonna select my colors. So here the first one, I'm gonna change it for uh, red. And then the second one, I'm gonna change it here for blue. Now I'm gonna change the mapping angle to uh, maybe 30 so it cuts our letter diagonally and then here the mapping size as you can see if we raise it it mix the color together and blend them together and if we reduce that mapping size it kind of make a straight line and there is uh, less mixing in between the two colors so right now I'm just gonna uh, go with 0 6 and I'm fine with that now we're just gonna go up right here and select two for the select element and we're gonna enable it and here we're just gonna go down and we're gonna switch that to white and it's basically an outline that we've created a white outline to outline all text and i think i'm happy with how the text look like now we're gonna bring a new node between the text and the media out so i'm gonna select my text one then in my keyboard i'm gonna hit shift space to bring my select tool uh, search and here we're gonna search for uh, shadow and here we have shadow I'm just gonna bring that in now I'm gonna select shadow I'm gonna go over to shadow offset which is basically uh, the position and here I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so 49 just a tiny bit right here uh, we could do even a bit more 40 eight for example it will work as well uh, and we're gonna switch the color to white that right here and now we can see that 48 was too much so i'm gonna go back to 49 and i think i prefer that it's a bit more subtle now it looks good but i would like to make one last modification it's here i'm gonna go back to text i'm gonna go over to layout and here i would like to change a bit the perspective so it doesn't look so flat uh, so i'm gonna make some modification here with the x uh, rotation axis i'm gonna bring it to 30 like that it just bring a bit more perspective distortion that give a more 3d look to the title in my opinion so now we have the design we just need to make the animation for the animation i'm gonna make something quite simple we're just gonna animate uh, some opacity and the position so let's start with the position here i'm gonna go to the frame 24 and i'm gonna go here in layout and put a keyframe on center and then i'm just gonna go down to zero and I'm gonna bring uh, the title down out of the frame like so. Here I'm gonna open my spline editor. I'm gonna select text one and I'm just gonna click right here so we can see all the points. I'm gonna select those two points. In my keyboard, hit the letter S to smooth out the curve, then hit the letter T to bring the ease in and ease out slider. And I'm gonna bring the ease in to 100% actually. And right now we created a simple position animation that is quite smooth with that curve that we just created. And now I'm just gonna bring a new node between shadow one and media out. So I'm gonna do shift space with shadow one selected and we're gonna search for brightness to bring an opacity uh, animation uh, to the mix. So here I'm gonna select my brightness uh, and contrast and we're gonna select here the alpha channel and then we're gonna go over here to frame 12 and I'm gonna put a first keyframe here on gain. Make sure that you have the alpha channel here selected. It's very important, otherwise the opacity uh, is not gonna work. And then you can go down to zero and I'm gonna bring the gain down to zero. This curve, I'm not gonna smooth it out because I don't think it's necessary um, most of the time with opacity animation. So now let's check it out. 
And here we go, we got our simple animation. Uh, it's very easy to do, but it does the job. I hope this video was helpful. You can download a free macro of this title in the link in the description below. This is a sample from our pop cinematic pack uh, available on a website that contains 20 unique titles. You can check it out. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.